Hello everyone, Dr. Mandel with you. Hopefully you are having a pleasant day or night. I want to say welcome. Uh, this program is going to be a dynamite program. Uh, I'm really excited to share some really great news. Talking from someone that preaches this as well as uh, practices it for many years. Uh, we're going to be talking about the healing miracles of kale and the properties on what it can do for us physically. Uh, it is quite astonishing. Uh, I have put, in, put many hundreds of patients on smoothies, different kale, uh, nutritional drinks, and uh, recommended many interesting types of uh, nutritional uh, when it comes down to keeping the right enzymes, the right minerals, uh, making our body alkaline. Uh, this is known to help uh, cancer. Uh, this is designed to help cardiovascular disease, uh, reducing cholesterol. Let's get right to it. I want to share a few things with you. We're going to kind of go quick through this, but I have a lot to, lot to say uh, right here. We're looking at the beautiful drink of kale. Uh, I can tell you that you're looking at someone that drinks this every single day. Uh, the, 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 the scientific data and the studies behind this particular vegetable is astonishing. If you look here, we're looking just at the food facts. Uh, just to show you the amount of vitamin K in here is astronomical. Uh, vitamin C, uh, vitamin A, astronomical. Uh, just to give you a little bit of basis, uh, as we move here, I'm going to just uh, kind of monkey around here so I can try to move this up a little bit because I can't get it all on the screen. Great for digestion and uh, toxification. Uh, this particular uh, vegetable, high in iron, uh, high in uh, vitamin K, great for the bones, blood, blood and brain, uh, antioxidants, great carotenoids, uh, uh, bioflavonoids, helps protect against various cancers, which I'll show you in just a little bit, anti-inflammatory because uh, we are uh, dealing with uh, omega-3s here, autoimmune, great for the heart. I'll share that more about in just a second, how it can help cholesterol, how it can lower your LDLs, raise your HDLs, uh, extremely good in vitamin A when it comes to your eyes, your lungs, uh, vitamin C, uh, calcium, if you see here, that this kale has more calcium than milk. That's right, the kale has more calcium. So it's kind of amazing that if you are osteoporotic uh, or you are osteopenia or you are having uh, problems with joints or even fractures, this is probably the best, the best vegetable you can eat. Great for your liver, as you can see that right there. I'll take that off. Uh, let's move right here. And it just, just gives you a little more uh, benefits here because I'm kind of moving through this. I don't really want to tear it apart too much, but uh, the, the kidney liver, a lung decongestion, people just who are congested a lot, try kale, drink the kale, throw some ginger in the kale. Kale juiced with ginger will cleanse the mucus out of you, will just clean you right out. Uh, hangovers, I don't recommend just trying it because uh, you were drinking too much. Uh, great for anti-aging because uh, it works with DNA. It repairs the DNA. DNA is the blueprint of our cells. Uh, coronary heart disease, I'll explain. We'll get to that in just a second, how it proves cholesterol and uh, inflammation because, again, this is a great anti-inflammatory. Uh, if we look here, we're looking at the acidity and alkalinity. Uh, we know that cancer cannot take place in an acidic uh, I mean, in an alkaline environment, only in an acidic environment, just like bacteria, viruses, and pathogens. But uh, we're looking at the junk foods, and we can see how they become very acidic. We look at the alkalinity. And if you look to the right, you see chlorophyll. Chlorophyll, that's what this particular healing kale is about. It's the chlorophyll. If we move up here, we're looking at other benefits. You can come back to this uh, on your own. I'm just bringing up because in some of these slides, it doesn't really talk about all of them. Uh, so I keep mixing it in there so you can kind of get some understanding on things it can do for you. As I move over here, uh, we're looking at the alkalinity, different kinds of foods. We know those greens are the best, the most alkaline, the most chlorophyll. If you look all the way to the right, you can see lower alkaline. 
You can come back to that on yourself. I'm not going to really spend time on that. This is just education for me to share with you. Now, this is the key thing. You look at chlorophyll. You ever notice that your breath may smell, your gums, your odor, um, just toxins inside your system. This is one of the best cleansers you could ever have. Better than any drug, better than anything, uh, is kale. Kale is just filled and loaded with chlorophyll. This cleanses your system. You know, we all heard of auto-intoxification. Auto-intoxification is, is toxicity from uh, waste toxins that get into the bloodstream that sit in your colon for long periods of time because most people are not regular. And if you're not regular, that bacteria starts to breed inside your intestines. So you can just see here what chlorophyll does. It's an internal cleanser. It's an alkaliner. Uh, it just keeps you nice and alkaline. It cleanses the liver, gets rid of the heavy metals. Uh, it, it just prevents the growth of the, the crazy bad bacteria that goes on in our intestines. And we've got to make sure we're still taking probiotics, which is very important. Uh, and it actually helps heal wounds. It helps heal you quicker. So let's say you're a diabetic. You have diabetic uh, uh, peripheral di uh, diabetes or uh, neuropathy, or let's say you have uh, problems healing, whatever it may be, because of whatever. You may have peripheral vascular disease. Uh, chlorophyll is a healer. So just keep that in mind. It's, you can get that through these miracle foods, just through the kale. It's a powerful fighter against cancer and heart. But while I'm right here on cancer, let me just say a couple of things about this. Uh, when we look at these anti-cancerous uh, vegetables, which is probably the number one thing here when we look at kale, uh, this is, when I say amazing, uh, it's pretty amazing. Uh, this basically is known to help uh, prostate, lung, ovarian, uh, breast cancer. Uh, this really is up on the list. So I just, you know, I don't want to go into all the research and spend all the time. But as I'm reading this research, I was kind of blown away. Uh, ovarian, bladder cancer. Uh, this is really a beautiful thing, and uh, people who are in remission or people who have uh, potential weakness of the immune system, this kale is a must. Um, I would recommend this to everyone in the entire world. Uh, very, very important. When it comes to heart, cardiovascular, uh, a few things I just want to mention about uh, this cardiovascular thing. Um, the benefits of this helps lower the cholesterol, it's increased the uh, HDLs, lowers the LDLs, decreases cholesterol, obviously. It helps prevent the clogging uh, because there's fiber in there, and there's plenty of cases and research which you can Google about clogging the arteries, arteriosclerosis, the plaque formation within the walls. Uh, this is known to help cleanse. Remember, this is high in vitamin K. Vitamin K can, the body can, uh, turn it into K2, not in the highest degrees, but it can make K2 from K1. Uh, K1 mainly is blood clotting, but uh, this is excellent for heart disease, for cardiovascular disease, for cholesterol problems. Uh, and, you know, I don't want to start reading these and going through this because I have pages and pages, uh, but this really does a major job. When it talks about the uh, concentrated source of the antioxidants and anti-inflammatory nutrients. Remember that uh, cardiovascular disease um, is just not about cholesterol, not about clogging. It's about inflammation. So this is known to reduce inflammation because when you have inflammation, that's when we start developing the placking. Uh, today, you know, you can look at my video on eggs, you, you know, and people, I, I'm looking at people, you know, right in these videos, these vegetarians, and they're just knocking eggs, knocking eggs, they're saying cholesterol is bad for you, eggs are bad for you. There's still no known source of uh, food cholesterol and blood cholesterol levels. There's no correlation. Um, I can tell you that in my family, Someone I'm thinking of right now eats eggs every single day and has the lowest cholesterol you could ever imagine. So figure that one out. Remember, when you add too much cholesterol, your, your liver makes less. And when you don't have enough cholesterol, your liver makes more. But again, there is genetic uh, in everything. So we're, we're not going to kind of uh, kind of falsify anything like that. 
Okay, so we look at the green juice here and just look at, um, I'm a big juicer here and I really love the green juice of, uh, of this particular kale. And uh, you could just read here what it can do for you. But I really like the smoothies more than everything. And I'm going to go in and share a few things for you. But remember that the chlorophyll is the major healer here. Now, I put this together here. Uh, I pulled this up and people say, well, you know, it's a pain in the neck to juice because it's so much work. And yes, it could be work. So what I've learned to do is when you cut your, your, veggie, your, your veggies, you have them out there and your fruits and whatever you're going to do, just put them in Ziplocs. You know, if you if you do a whole and you throw it in the freezer, uh, your, your vitamins are still there. You don't have nothing to worry about. You're, you're freezing fresh vegetables. Those vitamins are still in there. Um, you know, people say, no, don't freeze it. Well, don't freeze it if you don't want to. Then cut it fresh every day. But for those who have tight schedules, uh, this is a good idea. I picked it up from a juicer uh, here is just a kale strawberry pineapple smoothie. My favorite, by the way, um, is uh, pineapple. Uh, mango, uh, kale, uh, a little bit of ice, water, and ginger. To me, wow, I have that almost every day. Now you can play with it because people who may not like the pineapple or, or may not like uh, uh, whatever fruit you may not like, you can play around with it. There is no right way of using smoothies as long as you're a little creative, which I'll show you in just a second. Here is another uh, kale pineapple mint. You can just look at this, a cucumber, an apple, pineapple, kale leaves, uh, and lemon. Lemon seems to go good with kale. Uh, it seems to fight that uh, bitter taste, which I'm going to show you something in just a second. I think you'll gain it from here. Here's just another little smoothie here. Um, here is a, another smoothie. Uh, you can look at this here, a green kale smoothie. You can look at this on your own. Now here they use uh, almond milk. You can use water, uh, but uh, when you use like yogurt, it cuts the taste of the kale. Uh, now bananas I, I is definitely a must. I love bananas. Use bananas in there. But if you notice here, this says flaxseed. Now you can use whatever you want. You can use chia. You can use flax. You can use almonds. You can use uh, uh, walnuts. Whatever you want. You can be really creative. I'm not the most creative person in this, but I'm a simple guy and I'm really kind of known to my own habits. Uh, this is just a little information here that when you add citrus to a smoothie, uh, and you have greens in there, the citrus kind of masks that flavor. Like if you add a little lemon or lime, if you add something creamy to it, uh, like a coconut milk or yogurt, this seems to work good with greens as well. Cause that kind of cuts that flavor, that, that bitterness in the greens, uh, bananas uh, are actually good. And I talked about, uh, the frozen fruit, the golden rule here, they say two, two, three, two cups of greens, two cups of liquids, three cups of fruit. If you use that ratio, you're usually going to make that smoothie come out right. That's just something that I learned. I think that's something I wanted to share with you. Uh, here is just a kale berry smoothie. Uh, you can look through this as well, just to give you a little information. I just want to get you started, so then you can kind of be creative on your own. Now, I just wanted to share this, and the reason I wanted to share this with you, because I think this is really cool. Um, if you look at this, are things that you can add to your smoothies. Be a little creative. Um, a lot of times when I go out and get my smoothies, I like to add, you know, uh, almonds and, or, or, or chia, or I like to add, you know, some walnuts. But you could, these are just some little things that um, you can add. Let me unlock this a little bit so I can come up here. Give me a second. Okay. Uh, doesn't want me to move it. Let's see if I can move it. It doesn't want me to move it here. Let's try it one more time. Okay. Almond butter, flax seeds, sesame seeds. Now you got a, you have a lot of this stuff laying around the house. Uh, almond butter, uh, sesame seeds, uh, hemp seeds, pistachios, raw cashews, uh, the chia seeds, oats, hazelnuts, arugula. And again, you can see back here, down here, the apricots, um, coconut flakes, passion fruit, wheat germ, uh, these are some things you can be real creative. And I'll come back up again here. All right. But th don't be afraid to throw this stuff in. You look at the like the flax seeds and you look at the uh, the hemp uh, or you look at uh, those other ALAs that are turned into omega-3s. Those are actually really, really good. Uh, so don't be bashful. And don't be afraid to add those things in there. 
Uh, here's the last thing, well, almost at the end. Uh, here is something I also wanted to show you here. Look at this. This shows you the combination of things you can do, from the liquid to the greens to the extras. This is what I was just talking about, the sweet, if you want to make it sweeten it up with stevia or extracts, and those are the different fruits on the side. It's kind of a cool chart that you can look at that will kind of give you a little bit of uh, leeway because I think the hardest part for people right here is to kind of what do I put in it? What do I put in it? Uh, this is just some interesting uh, kale dishes that made with mango here. I really love that uh, You can look at the pine nuts and cranberries uh, They uh, here is a, a garlicky one. I like to eat the garlic garlicky kale all the time when I go to like Whole Foods out where I live here uh, I think it's really good. I love that. It's just, it feels so good after that and uh, that's your best friend, I hope now. I hope you made some friends with this. But let me tell you just a couple of quick things before we end up. I know we've been a little time. Uh, just some personal things. Uh, this took away my acid reflux. Um, I used to be on, on Prevacid for at one time. They couldn't figure it out. But I tell you, when I started going greens and I started hitting chlorophyll, uh, it just went away. I can tell you hundreds of patients of mine are, uh, are are off their medications because they're on the greens. No more acid reflex. Um, they don't get sick. They don't get colds. They don't get mucus. Uh, it, it's, it's really fascinating. And I've seen cholesterol levels just come straight down. Not that I'm against low cholesterol because I still think higher cholesterol levels are still good for that person. This depends upon what it is. But when I talk about cholesterol, I'm talking about the ratios. Um, uh, just really start getting into the greens. The chlorophyll is magic. It, it, it really is magic. And there's nothing more that I can really recommend better than what comes from life, from sun, from chlorophyll. And you're looking at it right here. Uh, so kale is definitely, to me, one of the greatest superfoods in the world. And for not only me personally from experience, but from hundreds of patients. And I'm, I'm hoping that those hundreds can turn into hundreds of thousands of people worldwide through this internet. I really appreciate, by the way, I didn't say at the beginning, but we've been uh, broadcasting live in our chat room here as well. And I want to thank our chatters for being here. Thank you so much. I hope that you benefit from this, uh, this particular video. Uh, this reminds me how important it is and really just get on your greens because uh, when it comes down to cancer fighting and cardiovascular fighting and immune system, this is where it's at. You got to get away from the acidity, keep your body alkaline, and it will really make a big change in your health. And it will help a lot of the diseases, a lot of problems, because when people are sick and they have cancer, what do they do? They go to the wheatgrass, they go to the spirulina, they go to the chlorella, they go right to the greens. Stay with greens. It makes a big difference, I promise you. All right. So I ask you to subscribe if you haven't to my channel so you can get great videos like this, get our notifications, leave your messages here, as well as over there at Motivational Doc on Facebook. Give me a thumbs up if you don't mind. And um, leave uh, whatever reviews, if you don't mind, over on Facebook for me. And uh, I really appreciate our chatters to be here, and I really hope this helped you. This is just a reminder, and please share this video. I really think it will help a lot of, uh, many thousands of people out there. Much love to everyone out there. Prayers to you, and may God continue to bless you. Bye-bye now.